Hi everyone, Mike here. It's September 15, 2019, and I figured we'd spend a few minutes doing some merch research together. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with this um, website, this dashboard, this is Avocado in a Pond, uh, which is basically a tool that helps you uh, with all sorts of things uh, when it comes to merch by Amazon. And uh, as you can see here, it will, it will help you with uh, niche finder, uh, product research, uh, brand scout, smart keywords. There's a lot of things that you can play around with, a lot of information this website gives you. Uh, but I figured right now what we're going to do is spend a few minutes and look at some of the, uh, I guess, suggestions through their niche finder uh, tool. I've... Uh, I've already selected five designs that I wanted to share with you, but again, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to spend a few minutes looking at some of these designs uh, that maybe you haven't thought of, uh, but that are uh, selling and getting a, a few sales each month. Now, before I actually get into it, I just want to basically describe what the point of this is. Uh, the theory behind uh, this tool is if you let's say have a number of designs i'm going to go with uh, with a crazy number something like let's say a hundred designs and each of the sells you know four or five uh products a month which you know in reality are kind of like low numbers uh you will still over time now have a hundred designs uh or a hundred products and and in total you're selling four to five hundred a month out of those 100 and anybody who's in a tier you know uh, 1,000 4,000 6,000 now you're talking about some real numbers so this is a very very useful tool and it basically uh, goes based on uh, the best seller rank and the, the, the monthly uh, change and, and monthly sales so for example I'll just talk about one of these numbers to tell you what what they mean. So this is the best seller rank as it stands right now, and I'll you know what let's let's look at this uh, design. This is a dinosaur dinosaur playing uh, disc golf, so frisbee golf. Best seller rank is four hundred thousand. Monthly best seller rank is one million two hundred forty four thousand. And this is the change uh, when it comes to the percentage. So it's actually got, gone down 64%, which is huge. It gets about five sales a month. It is uh, sold on the U.S. market and is a t-shirt. So it's, this is the type of information that this tool provides. Uh, the link is down below if you're interested. Uh, I would say anybody, it doesn't even matter what tier you're uh, at right now this is an incredible tool okay so let's let's go down and look at some of these numbers uh, and and some of the designs and then what we're gonna do is look at the actual listing uh, a little more closely okay so basically I'll just actually just flash some of these designs up uh, so you can see them and then uh, like I said we'll we'll look at the specific design so so uh, this one I wanted to look at. So basically, orange shirt, pretend I'm a traffic cone, uh, brand name here, pretend I'm a traffic cone, tees, uh, four sales a month, US, and I and I wanted to see, I was like, you know what, this is uh, kind of interesting, it's so simple, it, it, at the same time it doesn't make any sense, but it makes a lot of sense, like I understand why people would buy this, uh, but then at the same time, it's kind of like, oh my God, it's it's actually so stupid, but people will buy it. So this is what the actual uh, listing looks like. Brand name, pretend I'm a traffic cone, tease. The title, again, repetitive, right? Repetitive words, pretend I'm a traffic cone, lazy Halloween costume. And, and this is the information from an app that I have, which basically tells you, which keywords are getting picked up by Amazon. So when the customers are searching uh, for certain t-shirts, these are the ones that, that will be picked up. So if a customer actually types in, you know, 
uh, lazy Halloween or, or pretend I'm a traffic cone, uh, this will uh, come up in search results. Uh, it is offered in men, men's and women's and only one color, orange, and of course all the sizes. So, so this is it. So this shirt right here, this uh, design uh, generates about, what do we say, four sales a month. Uh, you know, you can think whatever you want about that, but uh, multiply this type of a design with 100 t-shirts, and now you yourself are getting 400 designs, uh, 400 sales a month. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else we have. So a bun bunch of vintage 80s. Uh, now we're getting into Halloween, of course. Halloween sales are uh, picking up a little bit. And then we get to uh, lipstick and eyelashes t-shirt. So I figured, you know what, this is so simple. Uh, is, was there anything else to this listing uh, when it comes to the brand name, the title, uh, to generate three sales a month? So I, I went to this listing. As you can see here, the, the price, the cost of this shirt is extremely low. So it's about 14 bucks. Uh, it has 14 uh, ratings, which is huge. That means that this has generated a lot of sales. And, uh, and it keeps selling. It's offered in two colors. As you can see here, white and uh, baby blue. And uh, fit type, men's, women's, and youth. That's it. There's really, really nothing to it. I don't think they've even... Uh, so nothing to think about. They, they haven't even actually... Uh, included anything in, in any of the bullet points. It's a very, very simple uh, design, very simple uh, title, and it's uh, generating three sales a month. Okay, let's keep going. So hamburger cat, hamburger space cat. Great, you know, five sales a month. As you can see here, it keeps going. And I'm, I'm actually just flashing these uh, designs up for you guys just so you would actually, uh, you know, get some ideas, uh, get inspired by any of this. And uh, hopefully it actually helps you. Uh, this one I actually found funny myself. I, I had to say it out loud a couple of times. Uh, two sales a month. Uh, basically, if, if you say it, it, you're saying I'm a penis. But... Uh, I just thought it was kind of clever play on words. South Carolina flag, seven sales a month. And then I came to this one. This one I actually um, wanted to look at closer just because I, at first I, I didn't think much of it. I was like, I'm with the drummer, whatever. Uh, but mus musician, drums, percussion band, tees. Uh, if you're not aware, if you don't know what a percussion band is, it's basically all drums. So that it's kind of like a, a, a funny, uh, as they say, you know, kind of like a, it's not a play on words, but it's a, it's a very specific uh, targeted type of humor. So this, this will generate five sales a month. And let's see what it looks like. Uh, musician, drums, percussion, band, tees, funny, I'm with the drummer, t-shirt, cool drum gift. And uh, not much in the in the bullet points. Basically, just says uh, get yours today. It's available in five colors. Uh, this is again from the uh, Chrome extension that I'm using that that gives you uh, certain information. So it's basically saying that there are no keywords that are found, which means that there are no keywords that are being picked up. So when your customers type in any of this kind of stuff, uh, it's not really picking it up. So I'm not sure exactly how uh, they will find it, but uh, but it's still getting sales. It is uh, offered at fifteen ninety eight. Yeah, I'll keep going, and uh, I think the next one, actually, this is the one that I wanted to look at, and uh, for a very specific reason, because I think anybody that's been working with merch for you know, a day to, to, to three or four years. I don't know, I'm not even sure how long merch has been around. Uh, but everybody knows that these types of t-shirts, the, the American US flag 
uh, with something. It could be, uh, you know, a blue line for police or a hockey stick or or anything that you can you can think of. Uh, they're so common, and uh, the point, the reason that I actually brought it up or or wanted to talk about this one specifically is because it generates sales. To me, it's uh, it's incredible. There are this this niche, in my opinion, is so saturated that it is it is unreal uh, but it still gets sales and and the funny thing here is that it gets sales at 19 bucks right uh, to me that's nuts the other thing that I've actually started noticing with these types of t-shirts are if anybody is uh, working with uh, Redbubble and uh, licensed products or uh, branded products so basically uh, I've, I've done a video on it and it's uh and it's certain brands companies people that have given their license to redbubble which gives uh us the ability to do design to sell basically for that brand uh now what has happened is people are actually uh using this idea this design and uh, selling it for specific brands and and the brands that I'm talking about are kind of like uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill Nye the science guy, a uh, bunch of other TV shows, uh, celebrities, personalities. Um, but the point that I'm trying to make is that these types of designs sell. And, and, and like I said, to me, it's so surprising because when you think about, you know, what do you want to do? Uh, you always want to kind of do something a little different, a little unique. But there's always going to be that category of uh, of designs uh, that will sell the the category of products that people are always going to be looking for. And you know what? This this actually looks like looks like something that people will wear. It, it doesn't look you know stupid. It, it doesn't look like it's a one time gift that you're going to give to somebody. It, it's something that, like I said, people will wear. So that's why. Uh, people get sales. Just the woman who loves chickens. Again, this is the one that we were talking about. Uh, okay, so th this one here, and I, I'm going to spend a minute actually talking about this. So, May Man, Old Man T-shirts, Funny is the brand name. The title here is Men's Never Underestimate an Old Man Who Was Born in May. Now, just think about the, the targeting here. This is so specific, and it's not as specific as some other designs. And uh, this is uh, called uh, basically targeted sales, targeted t-shirts, right? It's, it's targeting a very specific uh, niche, very specific category of people. Uh, and, and in this case, it's people who were born in May and most likely somebody who's a little older. Now, the reason I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this is because there's a whole uh, subreddit on, on Reddit. If, if you uh, aren't familiar with this, it's, it's uh, targeted shirts. And there are people that created a subreddit basically making fun of a lot of these shirts. Now, this is uh, where I guess this has uh, two sides to it. I agree that it's funny. I agree that it's ridiculous to to target somebody uh, with such a very specific T-shirt. Uh, so so the point being, it's ridiculous. It's funny. But then from the business side of it, uh, it sells. So so you know where are you? Where do you want to be? What tier are you at? Can you actually spend you know five hundred uh, slots to? start selling t-shirts like this. So for example, I never dreamed I would be a super cool softball mom, but here I am killing it. And I'll just scroll through. So this is actually uh, Reddit and, and I'm going through this uh, in real time just to show you, for example, what kinds of designs are uh, being sold. And uh, even though people are making fun of it, uh, they're still selling. So again, this is specifically for a, uh, uh, mom or a dad of a bus driver so not even you're not selling this to a bus driver you're selling this to a parent of one so what is this, what is this guy uh, wearing 
I'm a proud dad of a freaking awesome daughter. And uh, yes, she bought this shirt for me. So again, proud, proud dad of a daughter. So anyways, uh, it, th that's one of those things that, you know, it really, you have to think about it from the business side and, and, and ask yourself, do I really care that it's, it's ridiculous? Do I care that it, I agree that, you know, uh, how would you explain this to somebody? Somebody will make fun of you that you're, you know, selling it, selling this specific t-shirt to uh, a, a parent of a bus driver. Uh, but then again, it's making you money. So anyways, you can think about whatever you want, but uh, here it is. Okay, let's see what else we have. Do you even bowl, bro? So this is, uh, again, two sales uh, a month, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So again, there's a lot of, a lot of things. Uh, the last one that I wanted to talk about, and I'm just thinking about the time of this, the length of this video. Uh, so I'm going to start wrapping it up, but, but baking shirts. So again, bake the world a better place. So clearly play on words, which would be make the world a better place. And as you can see here, it's a, it's a cupcake, uh, and, and, you know, it's funny, I guess this would be a nice uh, gift for somebody. Uh, it could even be an everyday shirt for somebody who knows. Uh, these are the keywords that are getting picked up. Again, a very, very simple uh, design, but not only design, very simple listing with uh, the brand name, with the very simple title, and, uh, you know, it's generating sales. So I'll spend a few minutes just going through this just so you guys uh, get uh, a few ideas. And then uh, if you have any questions, any suggestions, anything else, leave a comment down below. I'm curious how you guys do your research. Uh, I've, I haven't always done it this way, but uh, this is definitely my new uh, favorite way of doing it. So let's see. Let's see uh, some of the designs with, let's say, five plus sales. So this is a pop socket, it's a name, Alice. So a bunch of ones. I didn't mean to trigger you, that was just a bonus. So again, this is a pro Trump uh, t-shirt, pro Trump design, it gets one sale uh, a month. Anyways, as you can see, a bunch of designs um, Dick Cheney, I guess, Dick Cheney hunting club, uh, and then a bunch of pop sockets and everything else. Anyways, I'll leave it here. Those are the five designs. I'll just flash through them quickly. Uh, as you can see here, it, sometimes it doesn't take a lot, meaning a lot of creativity, uh, to make money, but it does, uh, I mean, you... You still have to be, I guess, very smart the way you do it and, and know how to advertise, know how to get the right keywords in your listing. Uh, but it's possible to you know make money even with the most simple text. And, and going further, even offering just one color. Uh, that's it for now. Like I said, uh, I, I'm happy. I, I love it if you guys would share with me uh, how you do your research, how you decide what you will uh, put as your brand name, as your title. Uh, do you include any bullet points? Uh, let's get a discussion going. I'm, I'm very curious. But for now, I just want to thank everybody for watching and uh, hopefully you guys will be back. Thanks again. Bye.